Hey good people, Arthur Morris here. I hope all is well. In this video we are going to look at factoring a perfect square trinomial uh, with leading coefficients. So these are some of the special trinomial factoring methods that we'll go over. Please note that you can still use the other factoring methods for trinomials that we have looked at. Uh, the AC method, uh, namely the first one that we looked at was the AC method. Now the special trinomials say we have a trinomial in the form of a squared plus 2ab uh, plus b squared. We can factor that to be uh, a plus b squared. Uh, so if you look and you first of all check to make sure that there's no common factor all the way across and you look and you see that you have a perfect square on the first term and the last term v squared is a perfect square because of v times v and 4 is a perfect square because of 2 times 2 then you need to check to the middle to make sure that it's 2 times in this case 2 and v so 2 times 2v you need to make, make sure that the middle adds up or is the equivalent of 2 times in this case 2v which it is which is 4v so if we have uh, the trinomial in the form of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared in this case v is in the place of a 2 is in the place of b then we can quickly factor it to a plus b squared so again v is in the place of a from our formula 2 is in the place of b so that factors to v plus and you always use this sign we'll see a minus in a minute but v plus 2 squared so uh, again that's a shortcut way of doing it that's a method that, that I would strongly encourage you to learn uh, but the other perfect square trinomial is in the form of a squared minus 2ab plus b squared and that would equal a minus b squared so if that second term is negative but it's still in the same form uh, then it will factor to a minus b squared alrighty let's look at another one alright so this one we have w squared minus 12w plus 36 so again, I don't have a GCF all the way across. However, I do notice that I have perfect squares on the ends. 36, 6 squares, 36. So now I need to check the middle to make sure it matches up to our formula. Remember, our formula says that if we have a squared minus 2 times a times b plus b squared, then it would factor to be a minus b squared. So I'm looking at the 6 and the W and multiplying times 2 times 6 times W, multiplying it times 2 to make sure it equals the middle 12W, which it does. So it checks out with our formula. So now we can factor this, keeping in mind that W is in the place of A, 6 is in the place of B. We always use that sign on the second term. So W minus 6 squared. Alrighty, that's all for this video. In the next video we're going to look at the same type of problem except the leading coefficient will be greater than one. Alright, hope you found this video to be helpful. I will see you on the next one. Thank you.